Hey guys, just down in the shop uh, working on the ball screw and thought I'd shoot a little video um, what I got going on. So these are the uh, these are the the shim spacers that go uh, in between the two nuts and um, that's what you, know, you can set your uh, preload on the two nuts. Um, the factory ones uh, seem to be too small and couldn't uh, time the two nuts together and get any sort of preload. So uh, yesterday I spent some time making some new ones. I uh, made them on the lathe and uh, actually made two of them, parted off two washers and uh, then I machined them in half on the mill and put some slots in them and it came out pretty nice. Um, these are somewhere around like 225 thousandths. Um, I'm going to grind them in, uh, you know, grind, test, grind, test until uh, they get timed up and there's a, a nice preload. At least uh, that's the plan. So this is the one of the factory spacers that came with this screw and I wanted to demonstrate sort of what's going on here. And so as you can see these time up pretty close. So that's with a little bit of preload on it. It's nice and snug. Um, but you can see the discrepancy between this flange nut and then this second one here, how, let me see if I can turn it a little bit, um, how they're out of time. So to get, to get these to line up, it's a little bit back. So then this thing is not, it's not tight anymore. Uh, so the plan is to uh, take these uh, new ones that I made and uh, put them on the surface grinder and just walk them in until um, until there's the a little bit of uh, let's try this one so some preload like that but uh the two little tabs or the dogs, whatever you call them, uh, time up. So, yeah, we'll see how it works. I was thinking that um, I might try to make some new uh, ones of these that go in here um, and bridge the gap, but uh, I'm still undecided on that. Might do it, might not, but. What I know I'm going to do right now is uh, go parkerize these. If you know anything about me by now, you know I'm sort of a tinkerer, so let's do it. <laughs> so my temperature is coming up. I think I'm about there. I'm saying like one, 190 ish. Um, I normally shoot for like 180, 170, but I think I'll be fine. Got my two parts. Um, I just got them in some brake clean. And, you know, to keep them sort of degreased, it's important. Dumped them into my basket. Here we go. These parts are made them out of some 4140 uh, shafting. Uh, so I would anticipate that they should turn a pretty nice color, nice black. Um, I've done some other 4140 parts and oh yeah, it's already happening. It seems to take a pretty nice uh, black park. And we're not even about a couple minutes in, or not even a couple minutes, maybe. Not even a minute. Time flies when you're having fun. Give them a toss, Iron Chef style.
you can actually see the you hear people talk you know oh when is your uh, park rising done and it's like oh when it stops fizzing and uh, you can see you can see the fizzing action Because I have uh, over parkerized stuff before, and uh, for whatever reason, um, once you go past that point, it just starts uh, like eating away at the uh, your base metal. It gets all pitted and really nasty looking. Um, that's generally happened on parts where they weren't getting as black as I'd like, so. I figured, hell, leave me in a little longer. Yeah, for, for small parts, a little uh, stainless strainer like this is, is perfect. I think I'm gonna call it good at that. Go wash them off in some water and we'll carry on. So here are the spacers right out of the park tank. The pot, the park pot, um, they turned out great. Um, so yeah, now um, we're gonna throw them on the grinder and get both sides. Uh, ground parallel and I'm not actually going to uh, grind these to final, final size because I'm waiting on uh, a, a screw um, that I'm gonna put a little work into to uh, see what um, kind of gains we can get. Um, the plan is to uh, first I'm gonna straighten the screw and then uh, do a uh, a dialed in job of uh, turning the ends for the bearings. Um, oh, from the previous video, lots of people seem to have some concerns that uh, the stepper motor was somehow uh, dealing with all the uh, thrust uh, load on these screws. And that's not the case. It's, I got uh, angular contact bearings on uh, the other end. Um, there's one of them, the other one is in the uh, end cap, but, so yeah, uh, yeah, there's, there's some bearings there to uh, take care of the thrust load. Um, depending on uh, space um, and how create, creativity, cre create, create, creative, how creative it can get, I'm going to try to put uh, some sort of just a radial bearing on uh, the motor side because I want to use a slightly a different coupler that I have that requires um, that end uh, to be supported. So yeah, that's sort of the, the plan as of now. Um, looking forward to see how it works, but uh, I figure if you just try to get everything as good as you can, you know, all of the uh, little sub components um, I think we'll be uh, in pretty good shape, so um, stay tuned and um, yeah, let's go uh, put a little uh, finish on some of these spacers here.
dudes um, here they are off the grinder uh, that's about I think all I can do um, until the screw shows up but um, so I guess this will be uh, till the next time maybe uh, maybe next weekend or middle of the end of next week but uh, thanks for stopping by comment below if you got any uh, hot tips if not, shoot me an insult. Those are always good. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks so much. Take care.